In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to add a website form. <clears throat> so you're going to want to be in the website uh, module, and then we're just going to go straight to the edit button, and this brings up our editor. The block that you can use to create a form is in the dynamic content section, and it's just a form. And you'll just grab that, drag and drop it wherever you want it on the page. And it will pre-populate with a certain number of, and, and certain questions. Now, if we can edit these questions uh, one by one and, and change them, we can make them required. We can add descriptions. There's lots of different settings that you can have for each one of these fields. We can also uh, add a field, and, and that will come up. There's a field type that you can click on and choose uh, different types of things from check boxes to custom things. Uh, really, you can make this form as long or as short as you want. And then, uh, but the power of the form comes in what happens when your users uh, actually fill out this form and there's a few different things that we can create so this is in the action <clears throat> excuse me in the action button up here the the first thing we can if we click this drop down here we'll see there are five different actions that can happen when someone submits a form it can create a customer record <coughs> excuse me we can we can create an opportunity. We can subscribe, have them subscribe to a newsletter. We can create a task within a project, or we can just send an email, and in that email we can uh, send it to anyone on our team. We can just select their email. Uh, in today's example, I'm just going to go ahead and, and say I wanted to create an opportunity. And, and then it also allows me to choose the sales team, the sales person, and then I can, uh, you know, mark some fields as required or not required, anything from there. Uh, please note that if you have it create an opportunity, if you have the leads button turned on in your, in your CRM module, if you have the CRM module and the leads uh, stage, turned on then this won't create an opportunity it will actually create a lead and then assign it to a, your sales team or salesperson as as you uh, mark them you can see here I could I could select a salesperson and every time this uh, was created Mitchell admin would get uh, an email notification saying hey there's a new lead and then you could go in and, and investigate that lead and and uh, go from there to qualify it. But there's lots of different things you can do with this these forms. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the on success. There's some different options here. Uh, we can do nothing and they'll just submit it and the, and the form will clear out and they can submit it again. We could redirect them and it defaults to the, the contact us thank you uh, page and if you want to edit that page you can click on this button here and you can edit that page or you could just have it show a message and if you click this it'll actually show the message it'll just say hey thank you for your feedback and then they can't submit until they refresh the page or, or come back to it another day uh, so just by clicking that eyeball so that's uh, a little bit longer than my normal tutorial videos but I wanted to show you uh, what you can do with a website form and all of the different settings that you can have and, and create these forms to help, uh, again, drive people to your website and or sales or connections. And, and that way, you, you know, create more newsletter connections, all sorts of different things that you can have uh, these forms do for you. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us, uh, strideretail.com, and you can submit a, a request for some more information and we can, uh, you know, get in contact with you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.